Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Wiki Transformations with me, Mr. Wilberg. Today we're going to transform a wig from Eva hair. It's really cool, got a great texture and great color. Really hope you like it. Here she is. It's minty green and it's got a frizzy texture. Really love it. It's got a great lace as well. You see? So, the plan for this wig today is uh, I want to make it real big, real like, you know, the bobcat, the, no, not the bobcat, the wildcat wigs from the 80s, you know, like all the, like really big, because uh, I uh, I did the mistake one time of trying to flatten in one of these wigs, and it turned out really basic, so let's just work with the texture we have, and this tutorial is mostly going to be about how you tease the wig up really fucking big. So it's pretty basic tutorial, but it's fun for you guys who doesn't know how to do it. I've now put her on the star foam head and she's ready to go. S today I'm only gonna use a few things. I'm gonna use Prots hairspray to build it up. I'm gonna use uh, Red Can finishing spray to finish her off. And then I'm only using hairbrush, fine comb, and a whole bunch of these little friends here. First thing, uh, take the, this side of the fine comb and yeah, save about this much of the lace. We're just gonna pull that forward and save it until later. And we're gonna do that all around. And once we've done that, we're just gonna start teasing her and making her really big and fabulous. Following step is when we start teasing, is that this line that you see here goes all the way to the other side. We're going to divide that up into three sections. So we have one section here, one section here, and one section there. And I'm just gonna uh, take those pieces out, brush them through, comb them through, tease them up, uh, all three of them, and then I'm gonna gather them here in the front. That stage is done now, and the following step is also very easy. You do the exact same thing, except that you have three three parts up here, like one, two, and three. So, like you can see, maybe that there's gaps between the sections that I made, both here and here. And to avoid creating a wig that has, you know, holes in it that you can see through because that looks like shit, uh, I'm gonna do the following row but divide it up into five sections so I just do one small one here and the following I do here just to cover up this section uh, following one here and again one here to cover this section and a small one here so and that way I just layer the the teasing so it gets more appealing to me anyway. And then I just continue doing that all the way through the wig and I'll see you when it's done.
She is now all tissed up and I left her to dry a few minutes. So this is the front. Can you tell? Um, yeah, I left it to dry and she's all teased up. And now I'm just going to start taking her down. And I'm going to use this side of the comb to do it. Alright, she is now all teased up and ready for the next step. And as you can see, I saved this hair, this hair hair, I saved it. And uh, the reason why I do that is because I want to make a smooth, uh, more glamorous transition to cover up all the, the teasing that is visible now, because I think that looks like crap when that's visible. So, first step is to take this section here, divide it into two pieces. Oh well, divide it into two pieces, and then with the first one, start covering up the teasing part here, and save the last for last. I have now divided up the hair I had saved in front into two sections, uh, so it's over here now. The, <clears throat> what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to gently tease these parts in the back and try to fold them over to cover all the ugly teasing part here in the back. So I'm going to work on that now and see you after I'm done. So I've been trying to cover uh, the teasing part with the first layer and it's starting to come together, starting to look good. So what I've left to do now is I'm going to do the exact same thing with this, the rest of the hair. Uh, just gently teasing it in the back, trying to fold it over uh, so we get a really smooth and uh, beautiful transition between the start of the wig and then it goes into this frizzy, uh, crazy teased up wig and uh, when I've done that, when I've just put a, molded this one into the rest of the wig, uh, I'm gonna leave it to dry for a while and I'm gonna do that putting all of these clips in all around the lace and that is to, to push the hair back a bit like this. Uh, it's one of the favorite things that I do when I build wigs because I like it when it, you have kind of that swoop in the beginning of the wig. Uh, I just think it looks more or just that way. We are almost there, uh, I left her to dry for five more minutes and the only thing that's left to do now, I'm gonna 
finish her off with some finishing spray and uh, just go through her, work through her so she's even and so that she won't collapse. And after that I'm gonna remove all of the pins around the front and I think we're gonna be done. This before and this is after. Uh. The wig is done and we had to we had to arrange the frame so I could fit in the frame she's a big one uh, all right so I really hope you like it this is so easy to do this is just teasing 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 and then just a little bit of finesse here in the front uh, I think this is real fun uh, <laughs> and the, the big the, the fun thing about these kind of wigs is there they actually travel light because the teasing if the teasing is well done you can just take this part of the comb and you can just pick her up again if she's been traveling. Uh, anyway, I'm excited to see this on the missus, so let's see how it looks. I love it. I feel like a smurf down a Ross. I love it. I love it. If you want to try this yourself, go to Eva Hair and get the wig. Uh, all the info about it is going to be listed below somewhere. And if you have any questions, please comment below. Don't forget to subscribe and remember to follow us on Instagram. We're very exciting to follow. Bye.